am i audible now yes sir now it's okay okay now what do we get here x a minus 1 minus x a right by f of x i minus 1 minus f of x i yes or not so use yes, the formula and then do that's it that's so x i minus 1 is given to you as 0 and x 0 is given to you as 1 so these are initial guesses given to you all right the main problem with sequent method is that of course it converges fast but the main problem is we require two initial guesses here that's the main problem okay and the function is f of x is equal to e power minus x minus x okay so you please do it you please don't wait on me do I should accept. Got right? What's in that? So f of x is e power minus x minus x. Let me put it at one place. What's in that? What's in that? Yeah. What's in that? Yes. Yes. You are saying something. What is that? It's up to ten standard. Eleven, ten, twelve. I pass time. I open my physics. Oh, you are giving me answer, but I cannot hear you here. Can you please be loud? I am unable to hear you properly. Okay. Anyway, situation number one. Okay. For I have x minus one equal to zero, and if you find f of x minus one, so f of zero is equal to e power minus zero minus zero. So answer is what one. Similarly, x zero is equal to one. So f of x zero. Is equal to f of one is equal to e power minus one minus one. So this is what here minus zero point six three two one two. Okay. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? I must find this one right. X i plus one. So so x one is equal to what I have here. I have x not minus f of x not multiplied by x minus one minus x zero divided by f of x minus one minus f of x sub zero. Okay, just plug in x not equal to what do you have one? So one minus. Let me use another color. So I'll take a different color. Oh, this is fine. Into the outlet end. Okay, what is asking me this? So one minus f of x naught. So that is I have minus zero point six three two one two multiplied by I have x minus one zero minus one. Divided by uh, one minus minus zero point six three two one two. You know what's in the? So what do you get? So once we calculate this, and what's in the middle? Zero point six one two seven zero. Yes or not? You know what's in the middle? Did you get the same? Did you get this or yes, not? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The same. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, fine. Then iteration number two. I can do two iterations remaining. You can do right. There are some candidates like me. They want at least two iterations. Nineteen children. Huh? Our candidate one inches. Huh? 
నాలాంటి క్యాండిడేట్లు పక్కా ఉంటారు తెలిసి నాకు వాళ్ళకి అన్నీ చెప్పాలి క్లియర్గా సో యూ హ్యావ్ ఏ ఫంక్షన్ ఓకే అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టూ వాల్యూస్ యూర్ ఐ టుక్ ఎనీ టూ వాల్యూస్ లైక్ సే ఎక్స్ జీరో ఎక్స్ మైనస్ వన్ అండ్ ఐ గాట్ సమ్ అదర్ వాల్యూస్ ఎక్స్ వన్ సో నా వాట్ ఐ డూ ఐ యూస్ సే ఎక్స్ వన్ అండ్ ఎక్స్ అండ్ అండ్ సే ఎక్స్ వన్ అండ్ ఎక్స్ జీరో ఐ విల్ యూస్ అండ్ ఐ విల్ ట్రై టు ఫైండ్ ఫర్ ద అదర్ వాల్యూస్ so see this is say for example i will say this is like x minus 1 this is like say x not this is say x1 this is x2 so on i'm taking something like that however you want you can take so now i know this is my x1 i got so every time i required two initial guesses so now what i will do i will take x1 and x not as the initial guesses to find x2 all right so therefore what do i do so i know that x not is equal to already we know this is 1 and x1 is equal to we obtained 0.61270 now what do you do here you find again f of x not you find again f of x1 okay then you find this estimate x2 is equal to what here x1 minus f of x1 multiplied by yes x not minus x not minus x1 uh, divided by uh, f of x not minus f of x1 okay so am i doing correct here so x1 is 0.61270 మైనస్ ఎంత వచ్చింది ఇది వాట్ ఇస్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ వన్ వాల్యూ సో దిస్ ఈస్ మైనస్ జీరో పాయింట్ సిక్స్ త్రీ టూ వన్ టూ దట్ వి నో ఆల్రెడీ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ మైనస్ జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో సెవెన్ జీరో ఎయిట్ వన్ ఓకే సో minus 0.07081 so 1 minus 0.61270 divided by minus and to chin monkey the f of x not okay minus 0.63212 minus again minus of 0.07081 ఇంత వచ్చిందా ఎస్ ఎస్ సార్ సో ఫైనల్లీ యూ విల్ గెట్ ఐ యామ్ రైటింగ్ డౌన్ ద ఆన్సర్ 0.56384 ఐ యామ్ డూయింగ్ సాల్వ్డ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ స్టీవెన్ చాప్ ఓకే సో నౌ వన్స్ యు హావ్ ఇటరేషన్ నంబర్ 2 రెడీ ఓకే x2 ఇస్ రెడీ ఆల్్రెడీ వి ఫౌండ్ x1 హియర్ నౌ వాట్ కెన్ ఐ డు i can find my epsilon a right i can find out my epsilon a eto midi present minus previous by present okay say x2 minus x1 by x2 this one okay you take this in percentage so multiply by 100 all right so so i got 0.56384 minus my previous iteration x1 x1 is equal to 0.61270 0.61270 divided by 0.56384 how much did you get oh, a0 how much did you get here please tell me how much did you get 8.6% see how great right see it is so great here 8.6% see in the iteration number 1 if i take this iteration epsilon a is equal to how much here 100% is right yes sir yes no? sir yes sir yeah see generally 
we take present to minus previous by present that form we take because for the first iteration we don't have any previous so present minus previous by previous if i take denominator i can't take anything okay so denominator what i will do i will i will estimate something there so that again you know that, that depends upon the user uh, the, that depends upon their judicial choice of the estimate so therefore i don't have anything so therefore what i do i always take like this see this is this is not only correct but this is the best one i can say present minus previous divided by present times 100 and that gives us percentage okay so see from 100 percentage in the first iteration we came down to 8.6 percentage here it is excellent right so it's it's converging very fast now all the way we came from 100 to 8.6 it is it it's converging very fast so therefore we could say even secant method is also following quadratic convergence yeah means it's really fast unlike uh, bisection method and false question method they follow linear convergence from iteration to iteration you will see a progressive decrement in the error but not a sudden decrement in the error but coming to these open methods, you can see this drastically decrement in the error. Okay. Now, similar, I'll find for iteration number three. I'll go with the iteration number three. So, what do I do? I need to find X3, right? To find X3, what do I, I want here? I need what? X1 and X2, yes or not? Just to go in order. So again, same Kahani, same story. X3 is equal to, yes. X3 equal to what here? X2 minus F of X2 multiplied by X1 minus X2 divided by C in the examination, I must do this way, okay? So again, we need to find what is my X1 here? Oh, I have this color. What is my X1, man? My X1 and the ma chapanda yababu. 0.627. Okay, Allah Chapya Saipindiga. Very good, thank you. Whoever is answering, whoever is responding, I will give them extra marks. You can trust me anyways. X2 equal to the 0 0.56384. So already we know f of x1 and this in the for this what did we get here? I think we got already we got, we got this right minus 0 0.07081. The again this in the f of x2 and the and the way f of x2 and the F of X2 and the ma. Hmm? Anyone? But I just calculate this F of X2 equal to what? Yes? F of X2 equal to what? How much? 1.13. No, no, no. I'm asking F of X2. You plug in e power minus 0 0.56384 minus 0 0.568 for Anthamadi. And this in this. And this in this. Did you get like this? 0 0.56384. Anyone? Sorry, what I'm doing here? I'm writing the same again. We cut out the other part. I don't know why it's getting stuck.
and that's going to be 0.00 0.00517 okay adu vachinda approximately yes sir yeah now you make use of this now f of x todi kada neevlo padandi ipudu x2 equal to you have 0.56 you plug in all the values and then tell me x3 value here plug in all the values required values and then tell me x3 so you must get 0.56717 approximately yes or not ide vachinda ide vachinda ఇదే వచ్చిందా రాలేదమ్మా ఇదే వచ్చిందా విల్ సమ్ వన్ స్పీక్ అవుట్ నో పృథ్వీ రోల్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్ రోల్ నెంబర్ ఫోర్ పృథ్వీ Roll number four, Prudvi. Are you there or not? Can you hear me? Section A, can you hear my voice? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I can hear you, sir. Roll number four. What answer did you get now? Second. Roll number four, hello. Did you get the same? 0.5. Okay. You must sit in class. in a room right why do you take a open room i mean open area 0.56717 what is our true solution here our true solution is something around some 0.567 yeah so if i take epsilon a epsilon a for this so what do i get now present minus previous by present present minus previous by present multiplied by 100 i take epsilon a in percentage so i have a 0.56717 for x3 and mr x2 is 0.56384 0.56384 divided by 0.56717 so what do we get now so what did you get here 0.57 minus 0.56384 by 0.561 yeah 0.5 sir how much you, what did you get now 0.58 you got 0.5 percentage oh my god please tell me what is there in this sir i got 0.58 sir percentage you got 0.58 percentage yes. idu idu vachinda yes sir yeah see that means we started from 100 percentage here we came all the way 8.6 percent is okay then 0.58 percent is okay so maybe in the trust number 4 you may you may get some 0.0001 percent i mean percent like that so this is like epsilon a okay in percent is and iterations i can take down like this so it was number 1 it was number 2 it was number 3 some textbooks will take it was number 0 it was number 1 it was number 2 that depends if you are counting from 0 that indicates you have to also count 0 also okay so instead of taking 0 i will take 1 so 1 2 3 3 and it was number 3 epsilon a is it's a very low value okay 
so i can find for four if possible five maybe in the four itself i'll get the correct answer approximate answer i'll get so this kind of trend so this is following what trend here so this is following a quadratic convergence trend so this is following this so this guy is following a quadratic convergence trend the trend is quadratic convergence i hope uh, you are with me and you are able to understand things 